I got a treat for you today. You're not going to believe this, but for the third time now, we have the amazing, great Mark, the teardrop trailer guru. Can we call you a guru? Is that, sure, is that yeah, safe yeah, to say? <laughs> well, this is our third time doing this. And um, there's a lot of people interested in the teardrop trailers, uh, in particular, the vestibule teardrop trailers. So today we're going to have you give us a tour of your trailer and talk to you about what it's like having it for how many years now? Six. Six years. 2016. 2016. And uh, tell us again your trailer number. It's 105. So it was number 105. So you were an early adopter and um, rode for six years. Tell me what kind of things are working and what's not working with the trailer. Well, definitely the tables work. The tables work. Okay. And as I'm sitting here, this is probably the number one thing I use in the trailer. Is this table? It's the table and the seat itself. Because you don't really have to pull chairs out and stuff. Now you sit right here. This is your chair. Yeah. And, and this, you have this, uh, I don't know, what is this? Uh, it's a, it's uh, a shelf that shelf. you could put on a bedside table or. So can you lift that up? Let's show, sure. show them how that, show them how that, that whole thing comes down. This little table here. Uh, well, you got a, a tennis racket in. Are you playing tennis? You That's play, my bug zapper. I, oh, your bug zapper. I thought you were pickle, <laughs> playing pickleball maybe in your spare time. So this kind of folds down and this just sits in the door like that. And um, it's got a screen you can open and you can close. You got a screen there you can open and close for privacy, keep the sun out. What's this? I see a scrunchie on here. Does that serve any purpose? That's actually to keep bugs from coming through the hole. Oh, is there a hole there? Yeah. Really? Right here. Oh, when see. you open that up. When you open it, that up, there's a little hole here. Mm -hmm. So here you go. So now you slide this over. Can yep. we slide this over? And then you keep that scrunchie there right. to keep the hole covered. That's pretty good. Was that did you think of that? I could stay up Somebody all night and not did. I could stay up all night and not think of that, Mark. Somebody did. Did you, did you borrow that from someone? I sure did. And then uh you have you have on these doors here some straps. Here, hold this. Is, are these new, these straps that are that yeah, are on this door here? Yeah, there's something that Vestibule does now to keep the door from opening all the way. Because before, let me walk around here. Before, you still do it. Before you have this little, um, I don't bumper. know, bump, bumper here and then this item here to kind of uh, hit the bumper and hold the door open. But you can still open you, the door all the way. But if you get lazy and don't do that, because right. I, I think a lot of people, when I had the trailer, I don't always do that because I get lazy. So well, you, I had another <laughs> strap and it broke and the wind caught it and it flew and broke the clearance lights in front. Really? So this allows this not to do So that. you just, this hooks to the door. And, and there's it, a little black. All right, let's look on the inside. Okay, there's a little black hook on the inside here yeah. that that hooks to. So that just is kind of a safe. Is it always attached? Yeah. It's always attached. So Well, you can leave it like this. But you also can can make it smaller or or depend on how far you want the door to be open. You want the door. This was something that they came up with that was a really good idea. And you know the the, the gentleman Bert who owns Vestibule, who started Vestibule, uh, I'm sure he's still the same way. He's very creative and he's always tinkering with everything. He's tennis always anyone. <laughs> we'll play some tennis after the video. Actually, I prefer pickleball. Can we the use that for pickleball? Been pretty big. He's in, so it's giving uh, me something to do. <laughs> um, he's always, he's always Bert, the founder. He's always coming up with new ways to do things, and I'm sure he gets a lot of feedback from his customers. Also, he does, and also Randy Luster came up with the strap idea before this came up. Really? So there's so. actually several different different lots versions. of mods go on with these trailers now i noticed you you got a um you got a, a little um damage to your screen there did you do that was i that was aggressive sleeping or? i was actually moving mm -hmm. my storage unit and i had a full-size bed inside this trailer with mattress and oh it hit it you're it so it as i was moving so you were using this as a u-haul i was using it as a u-haul oh, mark you gotta get that fixed that's that's horrible there i know that so so All okay. This is a little bit of sewing and <laughs> so the teardrop doubles as a U-Haul. 
All right, I got it there. Multi-purpose. Now, you also, another thing that you have, which it seems you're pretty religious about this, is you keep these claws on the tire. Is yeah. there one on both sides or just one side? Just the one side. Just the one side. Just a deterrent. Have you ever had any trouble with anybody trying to steal the trailer? No. Never. No. But just, just a deterrent to help you. And you told me when you got here, because this is your third visit to Colorado visiting me, that, uh, and you came out once a year now, right? Yeah. This is becoming a tradition that uh, you've had this for six years and you just put new tires on. Right. So how many miles do you think you had on those old tires? Over probably 50,000 miles. 50,000. So those I tires lasted, those are pretty good tires. Yeah, they did for being in Arizona. <laughs> they lasted 50,000 miles and you just put new tires on. So they got a new pair of shoes. And you know that not only is it every year I come to see you, I just came from a gathering of 65 different vestibules. That's a lot. Together in one, when, one campground, which was awesome. Is it cool to see all those people together? It is. And, and, and the family, you get to know people. They come up to you. It's, well, it's what's fun. it like? What kind of people buy? I mean, I don't know if I could generalize, but what kind of people buy these trailers? Is is there is there a demographic? Is there a psychographic? Is there a type of person? Or is it all over the board? Mostly older people that do not want to sleep on the ground anymore. Like an upgrade from tent camping. It's an upgrade from tent camping. All right. And so uh, they, they want to have a little bit of luxury, but they don't want to jump into an RV or a van or a, a big white box or anything like that. Right. Yeah. It's way easier to park in like surroundings like I'm in right now, thanks to you, and driveways and anywhere else you can go. And this is very easy. So yeah, so Marco says this is an economical way to camp. So he's he comes to visit me. This is our shop. And uh, I'm in the lawn care business. And we have this lot from in the shop here that Mark comes. And let's take a look at it. It's, it's kind of a cool place. He's got his own, <laughs> he's got his own, uh, his tree shade here, his car. He's got grass. Uh, maybe I could uh, cut out a couple sites and charge for camping. Yeah. Put sh some shower stalls over here. That's, that's the only thing you're missing. <laughs> we did talk about electric cord. If I did need it, you would supply That's right. It, so that's that's cool. right. He does have a cord to, uh, to plug in if he was closer to the, sh to the door of the shop. And right now, because I haven't been plugged in for four days, you're running I've got <laughs> solar panels and I'm running the car. To, uh, to up the battery. How many days can you go without plugging in for your, your energy needs? I don't know. Well, being that I've got the solar panel, I, I don't have never tested it to that limit. Because okay. usually within a couple of days, I'm plugged in somewhere. So last year you came to visit me, and you this was new, these two awnings that you have on. Yeah. You have two. Why do you have two? Is, is more better? It, I like symmetry. This is a <laughs> it's all, all it is. It's like, and I like, you know, not having to think about moving the trailer a certain way or that kind of thing because you can use off of both sides. Now, do you use these awnings much? I use mainly for rain or if the sun is coming directly into the trailer. I got your rain. And this the... now has their own where they have 3M tape and they follow the ridge line here and they actually, you slide it on. And it comes out with poles and oh, so they have their, they have their own awning now. They have their own awning. What's now. this? What's this three M tape you're talking about? Three M tape is what holds this this strip. Is that strong enough to hold this on? It is. Okay. And that awning just comes up rolled. So so it's probably. I mean, is it safe to say it's a little cleaner and tidier than than this? I, well, or yeah, no? you don't, you're not getting wind resistant, and you take it off. And you, you take so it you're off. Not with I it. got you. So and you put. You have the 3M tape on both sides, the track, and you can use the okay. awning on either side. Ah, so it's a new thing for Vista Vista. And, and a, it was a money thing too. Because it was more cost effective Just to build more, it that way. More, yeah. Now you um, before we go to the back, is there anything in the inside we should see? Let me go around to the other side here. Now, people always say when they're looking at a vestibule that, well, I don't. I mean. The trailer is what you said, 14 foot from yeah. front to back. And how much is just the inside? Because you probably got, I don't know what, four foot of tongue? It's, it's just shy of a queen size bed. Okay. So you're probably at six, 
So, about six, five, I'd say on the so a queen size bed, and you got a gigantic door, your big door, there and you're three, you're a big man, doors. and I'm a little man. So let's see. Oh, you got there's the bear. He always has. There's a bear. one there, one there, there's one, one there. there. Now and let's see. And a duck. Let's see. You're one big man. I'm one little man. Let's see if one big man and one little man fit here. I want. Look at this. You want to lay down, two, Mark? Two big men. We can lay down there. Let's look at this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So you could, we could do three. I, this is like a, a one and a half. So you could put one other human in here. Or two big so, people. So it, it qualifies. And a couple dogs down there. For, for one, one big, one little. So we could do another medium or even a, a regular person too, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So this is really comfortable. And here's the... Um, Here's the view from inside the vestibule. I mean, it has this gigantic window. And if you don't want that, it has a shade. Oh, that's beautiful. Blackout. Blackout shade. Also have the fan in here. Uh, we have two types of lights. We have a light on the side. We have some reading lights here. You have the, um, the, the circular windows that has damage from U-Haul uh, travels. And... Uh, you also have some storage here. The mood lighting's going. The mood, you got, oh yeah, you got mood lighting. See the light up there, the pretty lights. And these close off. Okay, you got storage out. up there. You keep your clothes up here. You got some more clothes up here. And then you have storage. Well, you have the AC unit. Mm -hmm. And then you have, well, you, the bed's kind of in the way there, but the sheets and you got storage there and storage over there. There is the heater. And then also you have um, the heater controls. I think you told me now they actually have high-tech heaters with Bluetooth right. and, and all kinds of stuff like that. And you can run it off your phone. Yes. What's nice is I've been using this throughout the night and I could just turn it on, let it warm up, which doesn't take very long, and then you shut it right back off. It gets nice and toasty here fast, doesn't yeah. it? So we're at 12, 6, 8 on the battery right now. And the battery is right here underneath the air conditioner in its own special compartment. Great, great.